Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. GOP Intel Chair, pretty sure FBI didn't have warrant to record Flynn. By Carrie Pickett. Washington, House Select Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes called foul on the leaks of classified information relating to conversations between former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and a Russian ambassador. Any intelligence agency cannot listen to Americans' phone calls, Nunes told reporters Tuesday night. If there's an inadvertent collection that you know is overseas there's a whole process in place for that. He explained, it's pretty clear that's not the case. So then they could have been listening to someone else and inadvertently picked up an American. If that happens, there's a whole process in place to where they have to immediately get rid of the information unless it's like high-level national security issue and then someone would have to unmask the name, someone at the highest levels. So in this case it would be General Flynn and then how did that happen? Then if they did that, then how does all that get out to the public which is another leak of classified information, Nuni added. I'm pretty sure the FBI didn't have a warrant on Michael Flynn. Also see, Zero Hedge. Trump responds to Flynn resignation. The real story here are the illegal leaks. Donald Trump's anticipated, if so far unofficial, reaction to the Flynn resignation hit moments ago when the president tweeted in response to the brewing scandal that the real story here is why are there so many illegal leaks coming out of Washington? Will these leaks be happening as I deal on North Korea etc? Tweet. Donald J. Trump. At Real Donald Trump. The real story here is why are there so many illegal leaks coming out of Washington? Will these leaks be happening as I deal on North Korea etc? 9.28 a.m. February 14, 2017. The White House announced Flynn's resignation Monday night the culmination of weeks of controversy surrounding alleged communications with Russia. Flynn had initially denied speaking with Russia's U.S. ambassador during the transition about sanctions levied by President Obama, but admitted this week that he may have done so and inadvertently told Vice President Mike Pence and others otherwise. However, as we noted earlier, that will hardly placate Trump's enemies who will demand to know how and if, indeed. The White House was warned by the DOJ of potential Russian ties for a month, and how long did Trump plan to keep Flynn on board? Also, attention will focus on whether Flynn acting on his own when he discussed the Russian sanctions with the ambassador, and whether he was authorized to have a conversation, which will then shift the spotlight to Trump's own allegations of close ties with the Kremlin. Furthermore, Trump now faces backlash within the GOP as well with John McCain saying moments ago that General Flynn's resignation is a troubling indication of the dysfunction of the current national security apparatus. Finally, earlier on Tuesday, WikiLeaks blamed a destabilization campaign by the media and Democrats for National Security Advisor Michael Flynn's resignation. Tweet. WikiLeaks. At WikiLeaks. Trump's National Security Advisor Michael Flynn resigns after destabilization campaign by U.S. spies, Democrats, press pbs.twim.com web link. 6.41 a.m.-February 14, 2017. Trump's National Security Advisor Michael Flynn resigns after destabilization campaign by U.S. spies, Democrats, press, the organization tweeted including a screenshot of the press release from the White House announcing the President Trump accepted Flynn's resignation. As also reprinted earlier, Russia responded to the Flynn resignation, calling it an internal matter, while some Russian politicians were quoted as accusing the U.S. of paranoia. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.